Eldest Wife, Part Two. I know that I owe you, Stas. I'll pay you. You can take my word for it. The club just got going. I, I know six months have passed, but... You see, it it's a crisis. Hmm. A lot of people have run out of money all at once. Stas, I promised and I will pay you. I just... I need a little bit more time. You have to understand the situation I'm in. Y Hello. What's all that? Is that because I forgot something? No, I just wanted to surprise you. Vanya fell asleep earlier than usual, and we haven't had dinner together. Oh, you finally realize that it's true, huh? Hmm. I haven't seen you much lately. Before our wedding, I, uh, I thought my wife would help me with the club. I need a person I can trust now. I thought we would have sex like any other couple, and not that you'd have time for me once in a month. Hush. Vanya just started to sleep at night. You know he must be looked after. Look, that is not my baby. Why on earth should I care about him? I don't. Go find a babysitter. There are 24-hour nurseries now. Not for such small infants. And I must work at the restaurant. <laughs> Are you not my wife? You have to do what I want you to. <sighs> Hello, Zenya. Oh, oh, hello, boss. How are you? I'm not a boss to you. Oh, you're the wife of the boss, aren't you? We have only one boss, and you know her. Ah. Nelia asked you to bring potatoes from the cellar. Okay. Hello, Katya. How are you? Fine, thank you. Ah, oh, look how nice this is. Dilyara sent it to me. She's such a nice girl. We celebrated her wedding not long ago, and she's already pregnant. Oh, it's not Vanya's size. May I? Mm-hmm. Don't get angry with me. But it's time for you to think of an heir to give a son to Adil. Adil said he doesn't want to hurry into that. Katya, Katya. But he will soon enough. I thought you would drag him close to the family, to our business. And yet he spends all of his time at his silly old nightclub. Why call it silly? You've never even been there. He's been fussing around for more than a year. And he's borrowing money from me to run it. Katya. How about a baby soon? Hmm? We just don't have time for a baby now. You see when I get up and when I go to bed at night. My dear. Listen, that's no good. When Adil was born, I was in charge of the entire household and my aging mother-in-law as well. By the way, we didn't have water supply or central heating and still, I always did my best to look like a queen. I was always dressed up and smiling at home, family, work. Men take all of this for granted. He should not see how hard it is for you. Only one thing is important. The wife must be the most beautiful and always look happy to see her husband. Well, we are a family. I'm sure he understands how hard it is for me. Oh, really? He spends his nights in the club, and not with you. 
You are so beautiful. <laughs> Did you drink? It was a hard day. I had a couple of shots, and now I want to uh, relax with my wife. How did you drive in this condition? Very, very slowly. <laughs> come on, come to me. Don't be such a bore. Nothing is going to happen to him. I'll, I'll lull him to sleep and be right back. I'm your husband and I'm not going to wait for you. No. Oh, Adil, he's just a baby. He's not my baby, okay? Adil. Shut him up, please. I want to sleep. Uh. Oh, my dear. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Hush, hush, hush. It's okay, darling. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm here. I'm here. You're just fine now. Rockabye baby on the treetop. Leave it as it is. I'll finish myself. I'm almost done. Go. Your husband is waiting for you in the club. In the club? Has something happened? Ask me another time. He told you to call a taxi and go there. I'll take care of the baby. Immediately? Something must have happened. Hey! I ordered a vodka drink! No. You said 50 grams of tequila. Are you going to argue with me? Is everything all right here, boys? No. Your barman is a dumbass. I ordered vodka, yet he gave me tequila. Give him some vodka. Katya! Hello. Adil, you said it was urgent. Has something happened? Your husband's been missing you. That's serious enough. Let's go. Let's go, Katya. Another one! I wanted to say sorry for my behavior and to make it up to you. You should have warned me. I would have changed. I look a mess. No, you look gorgeous. Only one thing is missing. A deal you shouldn't. It's expensive. A deal. You have a lot of expenses here.
my beautiful wife. I guess you pictured it differently when you opened. These people... Pictured what, huh? I pictured a lot back then. This club has cost me a whole lot. I borrowed the money to pay rent, to, to do the repairs. I borrowed from important people. At a very high interest rate. It's time to pay back, yet I have only seen losses. And... I owe some of these guys here. Adil. Can I help you somehow? <laughs> I believe in myself, Katya. I believe in you too. I need three to four months. And I'll start earning the money back. I need to hold off my creditors for a little while. To pay back at least part of it. You could sell your car and buy something cheaper. What are you talking about? Just go and ask my mother. Why won't you do it yourself? I did, and she refused me. She thinks if, if the club closes, I'll sweat away at this damned restaurant. It's much more serious, in fact. You must understand it, Katya. I can't back out now. That's what this dinner is for. And I thought that... I've been missing my wife, Katya, all right? Please just listen. Stay here. So, how are you feeling? Are you sure that you don't need a doctor or anything? Everything is clear without that. Look here. <laughs> is... is this what I think it is? Yes. I am pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy? Mm. I guess my mother will be glad. I'm sure very happy. <laughs> Come to me, huh? <laughs> How is Katya? What happened to her? I guess she wasn't ill? Your dream has come true, mother. Katya is pregnant. Uh, oh, finally, that's great news. <laughs> Adil, congratulations. I'm so happy for both of you. <laughs> and I remember about our deal. I need the money today, Mom. You will get it. Mm. Ah, here comes the future mother of my grandson. I'm so happy that... Finally, our family will have a real heir. Oh, I have missed you. Don't make me excited. You're not allowed now. Why not? Even my doctor says it's allowed. A woman mustn't be the first one to offer. I'll let you know when I want it, alright? Adil, what's going on? I am your wife and I want to know the truth. I'm in deep trouble. I'm in serious trouble. Well, what if your mother lends you some money? I overheard her saying that accidentally. And how will that help me? To hold the creditors off for a week? My darling, listen. Let's get out of here, huh? Get ready and go away tomorrow. The money that my mom will give me will be enough to start with, all right? And then I'll sell the car and I'll find some work. 
We'll go to some southern city and just hide there, huh? Adil, if it's so serious, maybe we should tell Rosa? Or call the police, maybe? Call the police? How stupid. No. Honey, Katya, look, we're on the same team, right? Why do you need this restaurant to do mom's bidding all of the time? I'm not going anywhere. I have Vanya. And soon my own baby. Well, you could just leave your Vanya here with my mother. Don't worry, she won't slack on that. In our family, they've never given children away, okay? Mm. She's very proud of that. And you could end your pregnancy. Well, it's still in an early stage. You said so yourself, right? It would still be safe. And here is your aunt, hello. Who are you and why did you take the baby? I'm Gulia, your new babysitter. He woke up early, so I took him for a walk and fed him then. Rosa always goes to buy vegetables for my father, and that's why they arranged that I start working here. We don't need a babysitter, I manage myself. Oh dear, you're going to soon have your own baby. It's going to be too hard without help. I know, do you think I'm too young for this? Well, I have five brothers and sisters. I raised them myself. I know how to deal with kids. Your Vanya is a very good and quiet baby. He's like you a lot. <laughs> I think you're the first to praise him besides me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this can't be true. I guess you're lying to me now. <laughs> you can call me Katya. All right. <laughs> Katya, hmm? don't walk barefoot. The floor is cold. Go upstairs, put your shoes on, and sit down. Okay, I'll change. Everybody here? Good morning. Sit down, eat something, my dear. You've grown so thin and pale lately. Don't worry, Aunt Nelia. I will eat at the club. What's the matter? <laughs> Who has the biggest eyes in here? <laughs> You're so nice. Do, 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 I guess do, I'll stick around for breakfast, then. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Why are you so gloomy? No reason other than I'm seeing my doctor today and I'm very nervous. Everything will be all right. You're a very strong woman. Here, give them to me. And go help Mom. Here he is. Okay, you're a good boy. I asked to call him Rashid if it's a boy, just like my grandfather. Yet my daughter-in-law wants some Russian name. That's up to them, though. <laughs> oh, I'll have to call you back. Katya? First, we'll go to the flower shop and take the bouquets we ordered for the banquet, and then to the trade center, because I'm personally going to buy a cot for the baby. Katya. Did the doctor say that something was wrong? I left right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> the concert wasn't even over. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, I'm not kidding. I thought it was terrible. You should have seen my friend's face. He looked at me and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, well, I don't like this. <laughs> well, I saw him on TV. Yeah. He makes me scared. Well, it's up to you. Tell me if you change your mind. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. What happened? Why, why are you crying? It's the baby. Shh, shh, shh. He died. It's okay, just calm down. <laughs> we will have children. A boy and a girl. <laughs> Katya, meet Camilla. 
She's a very good gynecologist and also a very good friend of mine. Nice to meet you. I told Camilla about your problem and she agreed to examine you. Show her your tests. Do you have copies of the tests you can give to her? Yes, but the doctors told me another two or three months must pass before they can examine me. And I think you shouldn't waste your time right now. We can start working to find the problem. Rosa, let me decide. When and with whom I use to examine me. Uh, Katya, I understand you're upset. You must pull yourself together, please. But I told you I don't want this. Well, in fact, her doctors are right, Rosa. Let this cycle return to normal. But if you change your mind, I'll be glad to see you. Here you go. Thank you. I have a lot to do around here. <sighs> Camilla, thank you for coming today. How dare you act like that? Well, what's wrong this time? <laughs> oh, you're really asking me? I made an arrangement with her, had her come here early in the morning, and you reject her. Camilla is a polite and well-mannered person. She'll never show she was offended. And yet, if she was, tomorrow everyone will know what kind of person you are. Everyone tells me I should have had my son marry some girl from my country. Everyone warned me that Russian girls are rolling stones. They never know what they want in this life. Yet I thought that you were somehow different. I thought you were devoted to the family and... And it's now that you are showing me your true face. Hmm. I thought Adil and I were a family and had a right to decide how to live. If Adil decided everything himself, your sister's son would have long been in some orphanage and you would be working from dawn till dusk at his club as a waitress. Why would you say that? Adil's not like that. Adil is my son, and I know him better than you do. I am the only one that could help him come to his senses. Oh, you let me down. What? Oh, you were so worried about your nephew that you didn't want this child. In fact, you didn't care for yourself properly. And see what happened? And now you won't even agree to go to a better gynecologist. I'm going to ask Adil to take Vanya and move out of this house. Now I understand why Adil is so willing to live separately. <laughs> Yet for some reason he cannot afford to move out of my house. I think this lady wants to see you. Hi, Mom. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Yes, you've invested a lot here. Yet I don't see any crowds of people. Well, you have to come on Friday. On Friday evenings, it's really crowded. It's a pity not every day is Friday. Our previous arrangement isn't working. I want to offer a new deal to you. Gulia, good morning. Where's my darling? Hello. Hey, you. You have really spoiled me. Now I don't wake up until seven. Gulia? What happened? Why are you packing your things? Did Rosa fire you? I'm sorry, Katya. <laughs> They have a special dessert. It'll be delivered an hour after the banquet begins. We'll need to store it. And call Zanat, ask him to buy big plates. I'm sorry I'm late. You sleep too long. Um, Gulia is packing. Did you fire her? Gulia will live at home for a month. It's indecent when a fiancé lives at the groom's house before they wed. I don't understand. Since you can't bear a child yet. Adil decided to take a second wife. He's Muslim. As you know, it's allowed. Are you kidding me? I'm not good at kidding. Adil will never agree to this. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Here, uh, that's for last month. And I'll give you more next week. Thank you, Adil. Ah. Uh... I can't work here anymore. I'm really sorry. 
I can pay you some each week. We'll be even by the end of the month. It's not about payment. Well, not only about payment. When you employed me, you said it would be a fashionable club for modern youth. Yet I only see some thugs here doing their business or whatever they call it. Listen, please. I'll pay for the repairs and, and I'll drive them away. This place will be fashionable. That's my goal. No, sorry. I don't have time to wait. And you... You'd better give this up, I think. What was that, huh? Easy, huh? easy. It's obvious you're worked up. You'd better get off the hook from those guys. What on earth are you doing here, huh? Can't you see that I'm busy? I came to talk about Gulia. Rosa said you were taking a second wife. Adil, oh please tell me it's not true that she lied to me. Okay, darling. I love you. And you alone. But Mother's stubborn about an heir. She'll give some money only if we have a child. You must understand that without this money, I am dead. Then sell this damn club! Sell the club? Are you really so stupid? They... These... These guys are really connected. And they will not wait. You know I... I can't act against my mother's will right now. You'll have to put up with that. But it's for our own sake. I'll get some money soon, and, and we'll send them all to hell. And leave far away, only you and me. You have to believe me. You expect me to be okay that my husband has a second wife? Katya, stop talking nonsense. On papers, I will only have one wife. And all these rituals mean nothing to me. <laughs> Everything will be okay. Honey, please just trust me. Hello. Listen, just a sec. I'll explain everything to you. Yeah, they didn't give me the loan again. Look, I promise I will get the money. Y yes, yes. This time, yes, it's for sure. So where is it that you're going? I'm leaving my husband and filing for divorce. Divorce? There cannot be any divorces in our family. I don't think Adil will agree to it. I don't think you know what it is that you're doing. Well, I'll leave this house for a start. Where will you go? You have nowhere to go. That's none of your business. I ask that you stay. Don't dishonor me. Can you at least stay here until the day of the wedding? Do you want to keep humiliating me? I have done a lot for you. That's the only thing that I ask. Then you can go anywhere that you like. I'll do what you ask me to do. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Katya. You thinned down so much I didn't recognize you. Hello, Rosa. How are you? Where's Vanya? With my flatmate. Mm. I rent a flat with a, a mother like me. So while one's at work, the other one watches the kids. I'm sure Vanya has grown a lot. <sighs> well, yes. Time flies so quickly. I was afraid that you had left for your hometown. I wanted to, but it's hard to find a job if you have a small child. So what brings you here? I have come to say how very sorry I am. Since you left, everything has gone downhill in the house. 
Adil comes home drunk or under the influence, he could spend many days out of the house. He took all of my savings, everything I owned. I made a serious mistake, Katya. I offended you and made you leave. I thought you would help make my son come to his senses, yet I didn't think about your own happiness. Yet now everything has changed. I've even kicked Adil out. Kicked out? But why? Almost. All of a sudden, he started treating Gulia not in a man-like manner. I saw her bruises, and once he... He attacked her in my presence, and that almost resulted in a miscarriage. Her pregnancy's not easy. She is waiting for twins. He hasn't called for a few months, and I don't call him either. Katya, I made a mistake. I made my son marry a woman that he didn't love. And I made you leave. I hurt everyone around me. Katya, please. Katya. Please come back to the house. The house is falling apart without you. I don't know if I can come back. <sighs> the prices have been exorbitant. And we didn't have many clients this week. I don't know what will happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. And soon we'll have to pay taxes. All right, here we go. Coming through. Who the hell could that be? Daughter! <gasps> oh. <gasps> I'm sorry that I've come so late. Katsu, you're here. Give him to me. Hello, little one. Hello, come here. Katya, come here. I was just about to take the meat out of the stove. You're right on time. Kulia, you shouldn't. I'll do it myself, and you have to rest. No way. You're the eldest wife. Come in. I'll serve everything. What did you say? I'm the eldest wife? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hello, son. So Katya's back, huh? She is. Yet if we offend her again, she will leave. I'll never hurt her, don't you worry. If I hadn't agreed with your idea of the second marriage, then things would be different right now. You told me on the phone that you want to come back. Well, if you let in the prodigal daughter, forgive your prodigal son. Do not compare yourself to her. We saw only goodness from Katya. It was I who hurt her and made her leave. Yet she forgave you, Mom. Maybe you can forgive me? I will let you come back, but only on one condition. What condition? I'll find a doctor and you'll go to a hospital. You need to have treatment, Adil. Fine, it's a deal. You haven't been proud too long, I see. When you got hungry, you came right back. The eldest wife. I came back for your mother. Are you back for good? Yeah. It's my home. That's why I came back. 
Though I swore I'd never see that viper again. Well, let's wait. And I'll get successful. And then I'll never see her. And I'll take you with me. I came back to help at the restaurant. And not for you. Hey. I know that I hurt you. Yet it'll be different now. Yes. I've almost found a way out, darling. Just give me another chance. No! Off you go, then! <laughs> I have another wife who's younger, don't you remember? Good morning. Oh, what happened? Oh, nothing. I just hurt myself. Was it a deal? Why did you get up so early, huh? Come back to bed. We have a I lot want of you to come back today. to bed with I me right now. Katya. Katya will take care of no. everything here. Why don't you listen Adil, to what your husband no. tells you, huh? No. Listen. I said listen to me. Adil, please don't I'm hurt me. I'm not going me. to repeat Let myself. Let go. Don't. Don't you see that she feels bad? <clears throat> Let her go or I'll tell Rosa. Katya, what's up? I'm kidding. <laughs> don't you understand me? <laughs> Look, I'll comfort you. I honey. need Kulia in the baby. kitchen. Com Go and take a walk before breakfast. <laughs> Forget this. I'll remind you who the boss here is. <clears throat> <laughs> Did he beat you? Yes, all night long. And another thing, I was bleeding again. <sighs> we'll go to the hospital at once. And remember, if he beats you again, shout out loud. Rosa and I are on your side. Katya, why are you defending me? I'm guilty in all of this. Because of me, Adil got angry. Because you left the house. Stop talking nonsense. Go and change, and we'll go to the hospital. Adil... Oh... Yes, I'll try it. There are too many people here. It's dangerous to store it. Send the buyer as soon as possible, all right? Got it. Let's go then. Good luck. Okay, bye. Snooping around here, huh? Adil! Huh? You're gonna snitch on me? Snitch on me? Uh, I'll be silent! I'll, I'll be, be silent! silent. I'll, be I'll, silent. Kill you. I'll be silent! I will kill you! I'll be silent. I will kill you! Yeah.
school yeah what's wrong what happened I I killed our husband you what he's dead I killed him now is that his blood that the baby survived. They'll soon gain weight. I made up the week's menu. We will only make Guya's favorite food. The poor little girl. Everything happened at once. Adil with a busted head, and she almost lost her kids. Poor Adil. Spending two months in a coma. Will he ever see his kids? It's the phone. Hello? No! 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry. He was so young, I just can't understand. Thank you. Excuse me, what's your name? Svetlana. Uh, my husband is Rosa's fellow countryman. He's right over there with our son. Yes, I remember your husband and son from our wedding. You must have loved your husband very much, if you agreed to tolerate his second wife. <sighs> I loved him. My husband and I were not religious at all. We both were raised in the USSR. Things were different then. Yet I can't understand how you could tolerate this arrangement. Nobody humiliated me. Rosa always helped me and supported me as well. You must remember this. You're the only legitimate wife of her son, and you have more rights than you think that you have. If anything, call me, Maxim. He's a lawyer. He'll give you some advice. Thank you, but I don't think I'll need it. Excuse me, I need to go now. Gulia, let's go home. It was me. It was me who killed him. It was a terrible accident. Adil was under the influence and the police have proven that. He hit his head. I shouldn't have fought him so hard. I should have accepted what my fate was. Gulia, you struggled for your life and for your children. You had the right. Let's go home. Everyone's waiting. go and peel potatoes for tomorrow. I will come and help you. Life goes on, you know. Now you're in charge. You've become the head of the family. The house and restaurant are roses. She is still the head. Hmm. <laughs>
Good evening. Are you looking for someone? Mm hmm. Call the hostess. That's me. How can I help you? Hmm. You must be Katya, Adil's widow. Your husband was involved with us in our businesses. I came to take the stuff we stored in here in the house. Then come in. You are well informed, as I see. Did Adil tell you what's in there? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Take it and go away. Everything's not here. One pack is missing. I told you I don't know anything about it. My husband didn't tell me what- Stop <gasps> fooling around! I don't buy it. I Come see on. through bitches like you every day. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. Oh, please, I don't know anything. This suitcase costs $50,000, just like two of your kidneys. Bring it to me, or I'll take them out of you. I swear I don't know where it is. Okay. Okay, then. Either way, your husband was responsible for the drugs inside, so his debts are your debts. I want you to give me the money he still owes me. I don't have it. The restaurant is on its last legs. We have three little kids. Three little kids? <laughs> well done, Adil. At least in this fear, he was a pro. Okay. I'll do you a favor. To a mother of three little kids, you'll pay in installments. Got it? In a week, I'll call you and tell you where to make the first payment. Don't be late. Katya, what happened? Are you feeling sick? You're looking really pale. Come on, tell me. That case in the cellar. Some gangsters came for it. They said one pack was missing and that we... I mean... I think they meant that I will have to pay for it. He doesn't leave us alone even after death. It's because of me. I have to tell Rosa. Tell her everything. I should let her kill me with her own two hands. Don't tell her anything, you understand me? She's barely alive after the funeral, and you want to kill her? No. We'll fix this somehow. Hello. Hello. Is that the house of Rosa Zancherino? Yes, she's my mother-in-law. Can you sign for her? Okay. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll stroke your back. <gasps> I'll stroke Barely your put back. them to sleep. I am so tired. Oh, that's a big ball. Will you give it to me? Here's a letter addressed to you from some <gasps> Garant company. Could you read it out loud, please? I'll mm -hmm. stroke your back. I'll stroke your back. We hereby inform you that the developer Garant has won a tender to construct multi-storied residential areas in your district. Within a month, you shall vacate and, uh... It lists our address right here. What does this mean? <laughs> 
What do they mean by vacate? The compensation is 2,117,300 rubles for the house and property, it says here. I don't understand. But what compensation for what? They want to pull down our house and build some high-rise buildings. No. No, that's not possible. For the house and outdoor buildings, it says that the land belongs to the city. Is that true? I have no idea. There used to be a village here many, many years ago. There was a post office in this house. In the late 1900s, everything was dilapidated. The post office closed. My husband bought this house when it was already destroyed, and we had to fix it up. No, I won't give them this house as long as I'm still alive. General Director Berzarin. He's a bastard! Does he want to kick us out of here like that? Gulia. Oh, Gulia. <sighs> Everything's okay. <sighs> I should talk with this Berzarin. Let this Mickey Mouse company know who they are dealing with. Prepare the documents. Yes. I'll go and change. The documents. The documents. This is because of me. All the gangsters are against us. Hello? I've received a letter from the Garant Company, and I'd like to... Have you got a pass? No, but I just... Well, there's the phone. Call them and make an appointment. They can pick you up here. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Katia Zancherina. I got a letter from your company with respect to... Yes, I'd like to meet with your director, please. But wait, I just... A purchase order for Garant? Come on in. So then, we're going to your place? <laughs> and your wife? What about her? I mean, it's okay. She doesn't matter. Well, yeah, fine. Hello there. Yes, hello. Hello, ma'am. Now, where shall I sign? Our family got a letter from you. I'd like to talk to Mr. Berzarin. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. Everything is right here. Vacate the premises. Are you Mr. Berzarin? Sorry, miss. He's away. And he won't be mm. back soon. It's okay. I'll wait for him. Uh, 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 wait a second, miss. Who let you in? Get out of here immediately. I won't leave till I talk to Mr. Berzarin. Uh, this... Who's asking for me? Hello? This rude girl has come about the Green Quarter. They have a shed there. A shed? No. It's not a shed, it's a... Uh, we have a house and a restaurant, you see. And if you think you can evict us, well... You are mistaken. Enough. I'm gonna call security. No, we don't need security. I... I haven't understood anything. Let's go to my office. I'll have a look at your documents. Could you have this sent out? Fine. Excuse me, what is your name? 
Katia. 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 Katia, tea, coffee? Uh, have you brought the documents? Yes, have a look. Okay. Well, your title documents are quite interesting, I see here. According to the documents, you have a one-story building. You have three now, huh? Well, my mother-in-law added on. And she obtained a permit. Um, why did you come here and not her? What difference does it make? It's our common cause. She's not doing well. Ah. Uh. Katya, here... <clears throat> That's my final proposal, considering that the family is losing its business. You're not understanding me. And we are not going to back down. <laughs> well, I somehow thought you were more clever. Goodbye, then, Mr. Berzerin. Goodbye, then. So what? What did you discuss with this sectarian? Katya, Katya. You know what? I have a feeling I've already seen this blue-eyed girl somewhere before. Yes? Yeah. Thank you very much for your help, Maxim. We owe you so much. You don't, Aunt Rosa. I... I feel really good here, even better than at my own home. And... Well, thank you. We rarely get together at the big table. When my parents bought a flat for me, I am all alone. And the mutton you serve, of course, well, it's just delicious. It's... Like my grandmother cooked. Aunt Nelia, <laughs> did you cook it? No, it was Gulia's cooking. <laughs> Gulia? <laughs> it's amazing how you manage it all with two small kids. Well, they are pretty calm. <laughs> Maxim? Yeah? Have you looked at the documents yet? Yeah, sure. Pass mm -hmm. them over, Aunt Nelia. It's difficult. The house was bought in the 90s as a non-residential property, yet your husband transferred it over, and yet according to the documents, the land belongs to the city, so uh, if the developer has support, our chances are very tiny. The only thing we can do is... is to collect signatures of all of the locals to support our restaurant and to speak up against the new complex. I'll go around the neighborhood tomorrow. They may not support us. We've been living here for ages, yet we're still aliens to them. They think it's dirty, expensive, and tastes very bad. I have an idea. Stas, please go and ride on the merry-go-round. Alina, be careful, okay? The boy is Russian, isn't mm -hmm. he? You're right. Vanya, stop crying. You can go right now. Yes, Stas, you can right go. Mary, go okay, with the come girls. on now. <laughs> He's cute. What a lovely boy that you have. He has such eyes. Such beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Vanya is like my own son. But he's not. He's not my son. Who's then? The senior wife of my late husband's son. Oh. Oh, so you're a junior wife, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Gulia. Hold on, is it short for Gulchatai or something? <laughs> short for what? <laughs> Guzel. Ah. And what are the names of the twins? This is Anya. This is Almas. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel being the second wife? Doesn't the first wife bother you at all? No. Katya is extremely kind. Katya? <gasps> I mean, <laughs> explain it. It's all okay with you? They probably didn't ask you, but did Katya agree with it? Well, she agreed when she saw how much that I help. We're good friends. Uh -huh. Well, that's a good reason, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you're right. Listen, girls, maybe it's worth asking my husband to try it. <laughs> maybe then I'd have time to exercise and get in shape. Right. <laughs> mm. We're celebrating the anniversary of our restaurant. Here's an invitation for you. 
It'll be free. Please, come with your children. It'll be tasty mm. and cozy. Mm, okay. Look we'll see you there. It's all in vain. We can't do it. Nobody will sign absolutely anything for us. <sighs> I am the place? so hungry. Oh, man, it's been <laughs> so long since I've been here. Yes. And let me Starving. tell you, I love this place. Get inside. When I came so last year for mom's birthday, it was really special. <laughs> The food was delicious. I, I don't. I don't know if there was just something good afternoon. About it that one time, oh, please come in. It seemed like it was perfect. Here, my name is Katya, was cooked exactly. and this is Rosa, so the owner of the restaurant. Decoration. Yes. Nowadays, the young people are on duty here, and we, so to say, are trying to keep oh, yes. up the tradition. Eddie, please come in. Please, so nice and cozy. Your children can play on the playground over there. You can take off your coats. You can leave your coats right here. Come in, please. Maybe I'll try this It's so out. nice like here. Well, if I had only it. known you I had such a playground so here. I don't know. I think I think Come, I'll please sit here. I just Yes, yes, I you can like sit here. Please, please, please have a seat. Okay. The please. sauce is so good. I think cool. it doesn't even matter. You're welcome. Can I have some water, please. What did you think? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's so tasty. I told you. I, Do you really cook it here? Like oh, of course. Do you think oh, you can give me the salad recipe? No, it's very I simple, dear. Mm -hmm. My husband has a birthday say, next month. Have we'll have dinner here. Added to the flavor of the sauce. The meat was really good with it. Well, you're welcome to, but I'm just not sure at that time we'll be open. What do you mean? You're gonna close? It's we may have to. I how long they cook it for. They must the house is to be taken down. They want to build blocks of flats right here. What? They'll build their block of flats on our heads mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. I know. We don't have a place to park our cars. Well, can we help you somehow? Katya. Yes. Yes, you can help us by signing a petition against the building. Oh, I'm ready to sign it. Yes, I'll definitely sign it. I'll definitely sign it. Me too. I'm ready to sign it. Me too. It. Why, thank you. I can't believe oh, they took this building down. I'm signing that petition too. I hope mm. it helps. Mm. Oh, Zenya, bring out the wine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they rejected us. Maxim, but we can appeal. We have to do something. <sighs> it's useless, Katya. Don't you understand that it's all under their control? I'm very sorry, Aunt Rosa. We fought our hardest. I should advise you that you must vacate the premises within 10 days. First of all, within 10 working days. Secondly, we're going to discuss the compensation. You're welcome, if you don't value your time. And what about your boss? He didn't make it to the trial? What for? He has no thought of going there. Uh, by the way, miss, if suddenly it seems to you that he showed kindness to you somehow, you're wrong. Uh, that's your fantasy. I mean, we play different parts. He's a good cop, I'm a bad cop. But we have the same interest. And it doesn't include any charity. I wish you luck. <sighs> well, we have to go.
What happened to me? You had a heart attack. But the doctor said that you'll be okay, so you shouldn't worry. Katya, I'm tired. And now I'm a burden. Stop talking nonsense. You're not a burden. Our family wouldn't exist without you. And we'll keep fighting for the house. I want you to fulfill my wish right now. More precisely, have my will prepared. Take the money from these people and divide it with Gulia. Take it and be happy. Katya, you're so smart. You are pretty and you're so young. Vanya is not a baby anymore. Katya, you have to make your own life happy. You should get married. You want me to go? For all my life, I've tried to make a nest so that everybody feels comfortable. I wanted the children and grandchildren to live together. But the world is organized differently. Katya, I'm so tired. <sighs> He's sitting here like a vulture and refuses to go away. I told him you were busy. Nalia, that's okay. Make some coffee if you can. Good afternoon to you, Katya. Good afternoon, Igor. I didn't expect to see you here. Haven't you gotten enough? <clears throat> Katya, I, I didn't come to quarrel. Tea, coffee? A cup of coffee, please. Nelia, please, make some more coffee. <sighs> so what do you want with me? You won the case. And we will move out in a few weeks. Or have you come to speed us up? No, that's not the point. It's interesting to me why you are such a beautiful young girl. And you're furious to defend someone else's interests. They are my interests as well. I'm a widow of the hostess's son. I run the restaurant. Well, if I'm not mistaken, there's another widow here, am I right? <sighs> you know, when I found myself in the street without money, with a pregnant teenage sister, only this family helped me. And they accepted my sister's child. They are my family and responsibility. And the rest is not your business. I'm sorry, Katya. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I understand your choice, well, your wish to help the family. And I want to help you. What do you mean? I can buy an apartment for you. A big apartment in the, in the best district. Uh, the place is new and already decorated. I can offer you a job in my office building. Excuse me. Yes. No, I have already told you that we won't do it. The restaurant is being closed soon. Okay, I'll try to find some money. If you have any problems, I can help you. Mind your own business. 
So here's the deal. I won't work for you. And we'll think over the rest. Well, think it over. Um, when you make a decision, just call me. I hope that you call. Goodbye, Katya. Well, goodbye. Here's your meal. I didn't want to serve while he was here. I'm not going to serve a cannibal. He's not a cannibal. He's a businessman. It's the same thing. Look, Nelia, he offered to help us by buying a flat in the residential area. That's very good. I mean, it's better than their compensation. Yes, but I don't know how we can all settle in this flat, even if it is big. Well, you, Gulia, and the children will live there and we'll go somewhere else. Nelia, stop talking nonsense. We are all family and we will stay together. You probably haven't eaten anything. Let me treat you, okay? I can give you a total of 500 rubles. So little? We estimate stones, uh, according to their weight. If you want, I can put it up for sale. Then you'll get your money after the pieces sell. And then we'll subtract our commission, obviously. It's our policy. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. No, I need money right now. Estimate this one as well. It's my wedding ring. Sure, of course. Listen, there's a girl. I think that she has big problems. I want you to watch her. Find out what problems she is having. I see. And I want you to report to me. The girl's name is Katya. Listen, that's not all. We managed to collect only two-thirds. I ask you to grant a week's grace for the rest. You were asked to bring one-tenth of what you owe me. That's your grace. I'm not feeling very generous right now. They are taking the house from us. And my mother-in-law is in the hospital. Please, I beg you. You're a good actress. You know, I almost believe that you didn't get into the act of selling drugs with your late husband. Yes? And where's the stuff, you whore? Where did you hide it? I swear, I don't know. Oh, please don't do it. I don't know. What if we all have a good time with you, you whore? How about it? Huh? Maybe then you'll remember. All right, let her go. Who the hell are you? Take it easy. Calm down. Just let her go. I've got the money for you. And you said that you're a poor widow. Nobody to defend you. Okay, let's see what you've brought. Bring over the case. Here you go. Well, well, well. Let her go now. Wait, hold on. Money likes to be counted, right? I have to count it. Check it. That's... Well, have you counted it? <laughs> Take it easy. We're leaving now. We're leaving. 
Freeze, stay there. I said, don't move! <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, come on in. Thank you. They said at the hospital that you'd gone on your own. Well, what shall I do there? Take some pills, lie in bed? I hate it there. I brought you a pie. I want <laughs> to thank you. Without you, I'd... Katya, thank you for the pie. Let's have some tea. With the pie. Well, I'd better go. I don't want uh, to bother you. Katya, have you come to see me, huh? So you have to stay. Come on in. Huh? <laughs> well, thank you. I've been to the police. And? And I told the investigator. Well? I had to go without delay. But I was afraid. <laughs> I hope that you won't have any problems. Katya, I won't have any problems <laughs> because of you. They should have put these guys away in prison a long time ago, so mm -hmm. you did the police a favor, hmm? You helped the police to catch them in the act, and as for me and my guys, well, <laughs> we have the right to bear arms. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Katya. You know, I hardly recognized you in the office. <laughs> I mean, really, your cap, your jacket. <laughs> Such a sad face. The ring on your finger. I used to remember a cheerful girl. So in short, Katya, I finally filed for divorce. My wife slashed her wrist so I wouldn't go far away. No, that was not because of her. Just my son would never, um, never forgive me and, uh... So it took another two years of conversations and... And then she was found dead in a den on the outskirts of the city. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too, Katya. I'm sorry. My son went abroad to study about a year ago, so I'm all alone now. Katya, I wanted to find you so much. I thought that you were married. Uh, of course, you were happy with your husband, and... And you completely forgot me, and, uh, well, you're so kind, and, and you love life. Uh, I have a surprise for you. It's for you, Katya. Take this. What is it? These are the documents, the documents relating to your family, your, your business property, restaurant, your house. And we won't build there. <laughs> it's a crisis. Igor, you shouldn't have done all this for me. Katya, let me do just once in my life what I really want to do. I can't right now.
wants the construction set like I want it. Uh, <laughs> this is from Maxim. Uh, Maxim, you shouldn't uh, give such expensive gifts. Drop it. I just wanted to make Vanya happy. He's like a son to me, and and you are like my family. Mm. We love you too, Maxim. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Rosa, you replaced Gulia's mother, and that's why I'm asking you for her hand. Of course, if Gulia's not against it, after all. <laughs> I would be really glad. I... I'll go and make some tea. Katya, could you help me? <laughs> what should I do? You should accept his proposal. But how can I possibly? In this case, I'll have to tell him the truth about Adil. Maxim will never forgive me for that. Gulia, listen to me. Every woman alive has her own secrets. And a man shouldn't know all of them. Trust me, I understand what you feel now, that you are in mourning. But this is your decision and no one else's. Do you love him? Are you ready to give your children a good father and become a wonderful wife for Maxim? Yes, I am. Then don't tell him anything. Ever. Gulia, remember that none of us are saints. You should be a wife for Maxim, a good one that he dreams of. A postman just delivered this. Thank you, Zenya. <laughs> it's from Dasha. It's from Dasha. And she's coming home soon. Fire, fire, where's the fire? Oh, save me, where's the fire? The fire, the fire. Go to the other door. Where's the fire, where's the fire, where's the fire? Where's the gasoline? Oh. Hello there. Hello there. Vanya. My dear son. Well, Dasha, I'm glad that you're okay. I used to think about you all the time. If I had known that you found your dreams, I would have been happy. Before my dream had been fulfilled, I had to go through many difficulties. It is impossible to find words to tell you. Even my husband, he doesn't know everything. I, I would be dead without him. Hold on, I thought that you went there on the invitation of an agency. Of course not. Why on earth would they invite me? They would never do that. I went on my own, Katya. Where did you get the money for the ticket? I asked the old man. Yeah, Leonid. I told him I had his baby. Threatened to file a suit. I wish you saw his face <laughs> at that moment. 
By the way, recently I saw a new lover of Lisa on her Facebook page. Looks like her son. So now Leonid watches their country house like a house dog. <laughs> you didn't change at all. It turns out that he knows that he has a son. Oh yes, of course he does. But no need to worry, he doesn't need him. What about you? Hold on, what do you mean? I'm his mother. Or maybe not? Look, I'm sorry. I had to adopt him. Okay, I'll go away. But please, bring him to me often. Good afternoon. May I see Katya? Please come in. Thank you. Hello, Katya. Hello. Uh, may I come in? Yes, come in. Uh, Katya, you left and suddenly... I realized that I was making a great mistake with you. I mustn't let you go. I hope I can try again. That's great. Uh, take a Whoa. seat, darling. You move like a little girl. You're my example. <laughs> it's so good that you've come with Igor. And took Vanya with you. I know how difficult it is to launch a restaurant. Yes, it's tiring. We don't get enough sleep. <laughs> Thank you for gathering all of our family. Hmm. <clears throat> Maxim, Sonny, take a picture with me and all of the children gathered around. Nelia, Gulia, Vanya, all of you, come here. Come, come for a picture. Come on. Okay, kids. 